Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, Father God, thank you so much for your life-giving power. Thank you so much that our lives are in the safest pair of hands in the universe. Thank you that our lives have value and worth and that our lives are secure because you, Jesus, are living, true, and your grace is sufficient and you are faithful. Please open our eyes and our ears and our hearts and our minds to your wonderful word. And may we be filled with your absolute joy and peace and hope. Amen. Romans chapter 16 I commend to you our sister Phoebe, who is a deacon in the church in Sencria. Welcome her in the Lord as one who is worthy of honour among God's people. Help her in whatever she needs, for she has been helpful to many, and especially to me. Give my greetings to Priscilla and Aquila, my co-workers in the ministry of Christ Jesus. In fact, they once risked their lives for me. I am thankful to them, and so are all the Gentile churches. Also, give my greetings to the church that meets in their home. Greet my dear friend, Apenetus, who was the first person from the province of Asia to become a follower of Christ. Give my greetings to Mary, who has worked so hard for your benefit. Greet Andronicus and Junia, my fellow Jews, who were in prison with me. They are highly respected among the apostles and became followers of Christ before I did. Greet Ampliatus, my dear friend in the Lord. Greet Urbanus, our co-worker in Christ, and my dear friend Statius. Greet Apelles, a good man whom Christ approves, and give my greetings to the believers from the household of Aristobulus. Greet Herodian, my fellow Jew. Greet the Lord's people from the household of Narcissus. Give my greetings to Tryphena and Tryphosa, the Lord's workers, and to dear Persis, who has worked so hard for the Lord. Greet Rufus, whom the Lord picked out to be his very own, and also his dear mother, who has been a mother to me. Give my greetings to Asyncritus, Phlegon, Hermes, Patrobas, Hermas, and the brothers and sisters who meet with them. Give my greetings to Philologus, Julia, Nereus, and his sister, and to Olympus and all the believers who meet with them. Greet each other in Christian love. All the churches of Christ send you their greetings. And now I make one more appeal, my dear brothers and sisters. Watch out for people who cause divisions and upset people's faith by teaching things contrary to what you have been taught. Stay away from them. Such people are not serving Christ our Lord. They are serving their own personal interests. By smooth talk and glowing words, they deceive innocent people. But everyone knows that you are obedient to the Lord. This makes me very happy. I want you to be wise in doing right and to stay innocent of any wrong. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. May the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. Timothy, my fellow worker, sends you his greetings. 
So do Lucius, Jason, and Sosipata, my fellow Jews. I, Tertius, the one writing this letter for Paul, send my greetings to you as one of the Lord's followers. Gaius says hello to you. He is my host and also serves as host to the whole church. Erastus, the city treasurer, sends you his greetings, and so does our brother Quartus. Now all glory to God, who is able to make you strong, just as my good news says. This message about Jesus Christ has revealed his plan for you Gentiles, a plan kept secret from the beginning of time. But now, as the prophets foretold, and as the eternal God has commanded, this message is made known to all Gentiles everywhere, so that they too might believe and obey him. All glory to the only wise God, through Jesus Christ forever. Amen. This is the word of our Lord. Thanks be to God. Father, I thank you for all of these names in this chapter. And I thank you for the bond between them all. That they are the Church of Jesus Christ. They are members together and they all belong to you, belong to you. Indeed, they still belong to you. And I thank you for that bond and that love between them. I pray also that, yeah, in the church there wouldn't be divisions. And I pray that we wouldn't falter from, from speaking of your laws, my Lord. I pray that we wouldn't bring anything heretical, anything contrary to what you say into the church community. I pray that we would worship you as you are and that we would believe what is alone true. And you are the one, my Lord, who says what truth is. I pray that the body of Christ the church would be holy, would honour you. I pray that each of us in the churches that we are part of, the Christian families that we are part of, I pray that all of us would, would show compassion, would, would care for other people in our community. Open our eyes and our ears, my Lord, to what you are saying and flood our hearts and our minds with your wonderful glory. Amen.